Here's a Lion in My Cornflakes by Michael Robertson by Evelyn Ceballos. If you ever see this in a box of cornflakes, ignore it. I'll tell you what happened when we didn't. My brother, Dan, and I made a million trip to the supermarket and spent a whole year on cereal. It took us a long time to follow the coupon. Mom was so mad, she made us eat cornflakes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. She said we'd have nothing but cornflakes until they were all gone. That could take forever. And she said we wouldn't get any allowance until we'd eaten up every last foreign country flight. But we didn't mind. We really wanted a free line. We could take a whole walk, ride to school, and use it to open her hands. But everyone else had the same idea. We waited and waited for a free line to arrive. But there was no line on Monday, or Tuesday, or Wednesday. Thursday, no line. Friday, no line. Saturday, still no line. It worked. By the time something came, everyone else had theirs. How fair is that? Then on Monday, a delivery truck arrived. We were so excited. But, one, it wasn't a lion. Two, they sent it next door by mistake. And three, it went crazy and moved to Harper's backyard. It wasn't our fault, but mom went bonkers. She made us apologize to Mr. Harper and clean up. He was awful. We had a grizzly bear, a grumpy mom, and absolutely no free lion. We wrote to the zero people and complained. They wrote back. Dear Eric and Dan, sorry about the grizzly bear, but we ran out of lions. Please, I take this crocodile instead. Sincerely, Mr. Flacky. Dan said, what didn't know those conflicts for a cranky old crocodile? And guess what? The crocodile spent all this time in the bathroom, so no one else could get in. Jarvis, she made us grab this left up while he called the security. Sorry, they said. We'll sort it out right away. We asked for a lion, not a grizzly, not a battle hunting crocodile. Definitely not a great big gorilla, but that's exactly what we got. He really liked that Scott. He's a smart and friend. That's it, he said. Everyone in. I'm going to give the zero people a piece of my mind. The zero people said sorry again, but they really had run out of lines. They said that we could keep the great big gorilla, the bathroom hugging crocodile, and the very grizzly bear. They also gave us a lifetime supply of cornflakes. Finally, Dad was happy, but Mom wasn't, and we certainly weren't. You can't take a box of cornflakes for a walk. Cornflakes won't get you to school in style. Can Cornflakes help you open a can of tomatoes? No way. But a crocodile is the meanest can, can opening machine I've ever seen. A grizzly bear can walk for miles and miles and miles. And there isn't a better way to arrive to school than this. So don't ever bother saving up for a lion. It's not worth the trouble. And besides, everyone's got one. But as a tiger, just imagine. But a free tiger, just imagine.